Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBS tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about how a client is going to connect to a database instance in Share Server mode. This is the uh, discussion that we uh, we had done in our last tutorial. In the last tutorial, we discuss about dedicated server. So in the dedicated server mode, we have a dedicated server that is responsible to handle the client request. So that means if I have 1000 clients connected to the Oracle database server, I must have 1000 dedicated server process. As you know, this is something not scalable. Okay, so this is something not scalable and what they come up with a way that 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 brings to the rationale that we should have a shared server approach in shared server we can have shared minimum number of clients for one server okay so let's do an analogy again so let's say we started with analogy of our hotel in our last class so essentially right say let's say this is in hotel we have say receptionist are you know there so let's say R1, R2 and R3 the three receptionist and let's say we are operating this thing in a dedicated server mode in that case each client is going to directly talk to a receptionist so client 2 is going to talk to client 3 is going to talk to here so as we, as we, dis, as we discussed this is not a scalable way so what we can do just assume for a moment what is what what should it look like if I just have only one receptionist available so if I have one receptionist available and then I have three clients are coming in that case what happens so if these three clients are going to connect simultaneously then the listener is going to put them in front of this receptionist C2 and C3 that means we are going to build a line or we are going to build a queue in front of the receptionist and this receptionist can serve this client one also like you know when this client when after just after serving this client one it can serve the client two and so on it can serve in a round robin or some kind of priority and all this thing okay so let's say in case I have two receptionist so in that case maybe C1 and C2 is going to be served by R1 and C3 may come to R3 so essentially what we are going to have we are going to have queues okay so exactly this is something happens in in Oracle in a shared server mode we are going to have some sort of queue and we are going to discuss all those things uh, in a couple of minutes before discussing that let's see how what is the role of that listener in case of a shared server mode in case of a shared server mode when a request comes from the client to the listener the listener instead of creating a dedicated server it is going to fork a dispatcher process and dispatcher process is something you know it's not like not necessarily is going to port one two three four I just give an example but the first step is listener is going to fork a dispatcher process and then this dispatcher process is a lightweight process instead of a dedicated server which is a workhorse or heavy process okay so listener is going to create a dispatcher process and then the listener is going to tell to the client go and connect to the dispatcher process and in step 4 finally client is going to so also this is the client client is going to talk directly to the dispatcher process then what happens is that in shared server mode process in, in shared server mode the dispatcher so like uh, let's say I have client 1 and client 1 has a dispatcher then let's say I have another client 2 client 2 is going to have his own 
dispatcher process and then basically we connect you know we, we connect to this uh, to the database server and then let's say we are sending some SQL statement like you know that us a client one is going to do select star from EMP and it's client two is going to do select star from department from department so these are basically the work that is supposed to be done so what it does is dispatcher one and dispatcher two is going to put these commands in a queue called request queue understand point so in the request queue we are going to put all these commands then there is one shared server so that shared server is going to look at the request queue and then it's going to take the command and going to execute and then whatever the result it's going to rep it, 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 it is going to put into the response queue okay and then let's say for example there is a client one client two these are the requests like you know, something somebody is sending select star from EMP and somebody is selecting select somebody is doing select star from DPT all those commands are there in the request queue whenever share server is free he is going to basically take the commands execute and then the return result is going to be put in the response queue let's say the R1 and R2 and so on it's answer so all this dispatcher is going to pull to this response queue and then whenever their results is coming back they are going to get the result and get, return it back to the uh, to the client okay so by doing this what we solve is that we are no more like say for example in this case we do not need any more dedicated server that is good, that basically you know if in a dedicated server mode we should have need two dedicated server process but here we can get it by just using one shared server but having said that we we save a shared, we saved a dedicated server process right but instead of that we are going to create this complex data structure like request queue response queue and then and this small lightweight dispatcher process but still it is you know you know this trade off so basically you know we are going to save some dedicated server process but instead of that we are going to make this life complicated and this coordination should happen properly but that makes sense if we are going to have let's say we are going to share 100 clients to one shared server then yes so basically in this case what I'm saying that had I run this thing in a dedicated server mode I should have 100 dedicated servers and 100 dedicated server is too much compared to just one shared server plus 100 dispatcher process plus one data structure like queue so this trade-off is definitely much better compared to 100 dedicated server processes all right so this is the final picture how it's going to look let's say we have a client c1 client c1 is basically come to a listener and listener creates a dispatcher and then dispatcher is going to put the put the command to the request queue and this air server is going to pull to the request queue and then whenever he is free he is going to get this request queue and then execute using SGA and files and all this thing and then when the answer is ready he is going to get back to response queue and then response queue dispatcher is going to get this thing from response queue and get it back to the client and C2 and C3 let's say we have a parameter where we say how many share server per client let's say we are just having three clients per share server that means when the client number four comes what the listener is going to create a another shared server another shared server another request queue and response queue exactly similar to what we are showing here and then client four is going to have his dispatcher process and then client for dispatcher process is, is going to put those things in the request queue and then this share server is going to get that you know command from the queue and execute and get it out 
okay and then this client 2 will have so another dispatcher and client 3 will have dispatcher okay so therefore what you have what we are going to have the summarization is that if you want to run in this air server mode depending on how many clients you are going to run per share server that many number of share server is going to be there but irrespective of share server we are going to have a one to one mapping of dispatcher but remember that dispatcher process is just a dumb process they don't do anything except they just basically accept some request and then put that thing in a queue and then you are going to have this additional data structure which is going to manage the request queue and response queue but this gives such a lot of performance boost whenever considering from the dedicated server 